simple zip file. First, you visit genworks.com slash new site, and then go to the download section and enter your email address. Next, you click where it says click mail. Next, you click on the zip file to download the actual zip file. And that's about 30 megabytes right now. Next, you click where it says click here for the GPL directory. And that's the GNU Emacs and GNU GoScript, which are free programs that work in conjunction with Gendel. Now I've set up a folder called GDL in my home directory and I'm moving both of these zip files into the GDL folder. Now in the GDL folder we have the GDL1581 and the GPL. The GDL1581 contains the GDL source and program. I'm going to extract this. Now the Windows extractor puts an extra directory level on for some reason so we want to delete that and just extract it right into that GDL directory or whatever directory you've created to install your simple gentle zip file install. Next we extract the GPL directory and similarly delete that extra directory that the Windows extractor puts in. So now you'll have a GPL directory which again include, includes uh, GNU Emacs, which is your editing environment that you can use. And now it's important to move the GPL folder inside the GDL1581 folder. So now your GDL1581 folder contains GPL. There's also a run GDL batch file. That's how you launch the environment. And that starts an Emacs session that says, Welcome to the Gentle Environment. MetaX Slime. The superior Lisp mode for Emacs is one way that you can start the environment. Uh, we have a missing license file because we forgot to go to our email and download that license key file. So we'll do that now. First we'll kill the the Lisp console window that exited with a status 1 which is an error status. Then if you look under the file menu you see Control X, Control C, so control X, control C, and we'll kill the Emacs window because we're going to start over later. And from there, we'll drag it into the GDL folder. But we're not quite done because it's supposed to go in the GDL1581 program folder. So there it is in the GDL1581 windows. And finally, we'll take it from there and drag it into the program folder. That's where the, that license file actually has to be. So that's the last step of installation. Now we start run gdl.bat again, meta x slime again, and now we get our gdl user command prompt. So that's what you want to see. There's also a genworks gendel console, which has all the startup text output there. So we have a, a working interactive prompt. We can also go to localhost 9000 colon tasty and take the default robot and we can play around with the robot. Click the pen icon and click the top robot assembly to draw the robot for example. So this is just a test that we're basically up and running. Finally, to exit Gentle, use meta x slime quit lisp. 